celebrate the third annual Pride on Campus flag raising. Pride on Campus is a coalition of concerned individuals and organizations from the Memorial community. Our aim is to provide students, faculty, staff, and community members with the opportunity to discuss LGBTQ issues, raise awareness, and build a community that provides a safe space for LGBTQ individuals, their families, and their allies. Here at Memorial, we have a lot to be proud of. We can be proud of students, faculty, and staff who stand up against homophobia and transphobia in their daily lives. We can be proud of students who organized a national conference for queer and trans students right here on our campus this spring. We can be proud of the many initiatives of our students' unions to fight for homophobia and transphobia. We can be proud of the anti-discrimination work being taken on uh, by staff and faculty in, in different faculties across campus. We heard from folks in the Faculty of Education at our breakfast this morning about a sexual and gender education committee they've created in the Faculty of Education. Today, I feel oh so proud. This week, let's work to harness this pride, this excitement, and use it to continue anti-discrimination work, for there's still lots to be done. Let's use this energy to challenge homophobia and transphobia on our campus and in our classrooms all year long. Without further ado, I'd like to call upon our first speaker to bring greetings on behalf of Memorial University, the university president, Dr. Di Dr. Gary Kachanowski. All right. Memorial University community, welcome uh, to our St. John's campus and thank you for joining with members of uh, Mun Student Union, Graduate Student Union, Canadian Federation of Students, along with many members of the Memorial community who are here to help us mark uh, this special event. Michael has indicated that uh, we should be very proud of many things, but I think uh, the, the uh, student leadership deserves uh, an applause. Please join oh, yes. me. Thank you. They took the lead in all of this. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, we're proud to join people uh, from all over the world in every walk of life uh, in celebrating Pride Week. Uh, this is our third annual Pride on Campus Week. Uh, Memorial, as Michael has indicated, supports diversity and inclusion. And this is a week to celebrate that diversity, raise awareness of our responsibilities, not only as an institution, but as human beings. Uh, to promote uh, and ensure uh, that inclusion. And as a community, we're committed to embracing and celebrating the diversity of all people, members of the uh, LGBTQ community, and, and more. And of course, our campus communities uh, play such an integral role, uh, not only here in the city of St. John's, but across the entire province. Uh, we have a responsibility and a role to offer a welcoming atmosphere for all people and this is what we're celebrating and highlighting this week. And uh, as president of this great institution, I am proud uh, uh, that this community is dedicated to providing equal opportunity to all students and all people. During Pride on Campus Week, events will be held to celebrate this diversity as our university, uh, at our university, as well as to raise awareness uh, and educate uh, the campus community as a whole through events like uh, this flag raising uh, ceremony. In addition to this morning's breakfast and flag raising, other things are taking place, film screening, barbecues and patio parties and trivia night, as well as many, many other events. And I encourage everyone to get involved and take in as many events as you can. Uh, I think the first Pride Parade uh, was 44 years ago in New York. Uh, and uh, this year in New York, not only was the police department's marching band in the parade, but the Gay Officers Action League followed the band with a delegation of at least 50 members, which is quite a change from what was going on in that first event. So, uh, uh, and of course that change has been reflected in events around the world. So as a society and the world, we've come a long way, but we know, we absolutely know there's still so much more that needs to be done. And I have to say a memorial committed to doing it. It is the responsibility 
of all of us to ensure that our community is supportive, inclusive, and respectful of all people, uh, of all races, colors, religions, and sexual orientations. And uh, of course, uh, working together, we can continue to ensure the memorial is a strong, safe, welcoming and inclusive university, a place uh, of mutual regard and mutual respect. Thank you all for coming this morning and adding your voices uh, to what we know uh, just has to be the case. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks very much, Dr. Kachanowski. I'd now like to call upon uh, the Director of External Affairs, Communications and Research with the Munn Students Union, Candace Sims. Right. marginalized groups and educating our members on the importance of equality. At Memorial, it's no different. Our students' unions are committed to continuing our work towards creating an even more welcoming and diverse campus. And we recognize that students are not the only ones touched by discrimination that occurs in our community. The faculty and staff at the university are also affected, and the Memorial community as a whole can continue to be a leader in this, this facet and ensure that all of its members feel as welcomed as possible. This week, members of the university community will come together to celebrate the amazing diversity on our campus. Events are aimed at not only raising awareness of LGBTQ issues, such as homophobia and transphobia, but seek to bring together our campus community and strengthen the ties between us all, regardless of gender or expression, orientation, or sexuality. In a world where homophobic and transphobic attitudes are still present, it is imperative that we take every opportunity to gather and celebrate the strides we at Memorial have made, while keeping in mind how far our community still has to go. Ensuring a safe and positive space cannot occur simply through spoken or written word. It takes action to ensure our community is welcoming and accommodating to diversity. We must never relent. It is because of the constant determination and dedication of people like you here today that we are able to create an environment where everyone can feel completely comfortable being themselves. So let's use this week as an opportunity to highlight the issues that the queer community faces and raise awareness of the importance of creating a safer space and campus for all. And while doing this, let's have fun. Stand up, dance, sing, and celebrate the ama amazing diversity in our campus community once again. Thank you so much for joining us today. I encourage everyone here to continue to come out to our events this week. For more details, you can see the schedule at onesu.ca. And on behalf of the entire undergraduate student population at Memorial, happy Pride. All right. Thanks very much, Candace. I'd now like to call upon the president of the Graduate Students Union to, to bring greetings on behalf of the Graduate Students Memorial, uh, Joey Donnelly. All right. Thanks, Michael. Good morning. Well, uh, on behalf of graduate students, I would like to share our excitement of uh, being involved in this year's Pride Week. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming out, and I hope to see you at the many uh, various events that are taking place uh, throughout the coming days. Our Students' Union is committed to promoting equality for everyone, and through campaigns and advocacy work, in partnership with our, our national organization, the Canadian Federation of Students, we strive to ensure that tolerance becomes acceptance and acceptance becomes equality. We must ensure that students at all levels have access to a high quality, affordable education in a safe environment. But sadly, homophobia and transphobia continues to afflict our institutions, our workplaces, and our society. The impact of discrimination is profound. Suicide rates among queer and trans youth, high rates of homelessness, and indeed, higher barriers to pursuing and succeeding in post-secondary education. We must stay committed to raising awareness and celebrating the diversity of our community. 
in the coming days, as we celebrate who we are and the victories that we have won, we must not lose sight of the need to educate ourselves and our greater community about the issues that we still face. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks very much, Joey. Uh, and now for the moment we've all been waiting for, uh, I'd like to call upon our three speakers, uh, Candace Simmons, Dr. Gary Kachanowski, and Joey Donnelly, uh, to help with the raising of the, the pride flag. Right. this morning and celebrate the opening of this very important week with us. This week, celebrate the array of sexual identities and gender expressions on our campus. As Candace said, be excited, have fun, dance, sing, and while doing all of this, continue to think about the ways that we can all work together to ensure the safest, most accepting campus community possible. Thanks for joining us this welcome, uh, this morning. <laughs> and please do stick around to enjoy the refreshments in the uh, in the entrance of the arts building. Beautiful. Have a fantastic Friday. Thank you.